I never thought I would see myself making a video on 140 RPM snipers. I thought the days of me using 140 RPM snipers were behind me. Now, this isn't a video where we walk down memory lane and we talk about why I still don't have a created Twilight Oath. Today, we're going to be talking about rapid fire frame snipers and why they are the most underrated snipers in the game. I promise you that by the end of this video, from the breakdowns in the gameplay footage in the background, you will never look at rapid fire frame snipers the same. But before we get into the video, remember, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by watching the entire video and sharing it with your friends. Both are free ways to support the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to click that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Now, I will be breaking this video down into three parts. We will be comparing other snipers such as 90 RPM and 72 RPM snipers versus the 140 RPM. Their viability in trials and against supers and which snipers should you be grinding for to future proof yourself for future seasons. But without further delay, let's get into the video. Now, it would be a lie to tell you that snipers like the Twilight Oath and the Supremacy were not the meta before. I'm not sure when you started Destiny, but a few seasons back, these snipers and other snipers in the 140 RPM archetype were at the top of the food chain. They had it all, low zoom, high ammo capacity, a lot of aim assist, but mostly they were used so much due to their ability to two shot to the body consistently. You could fire two shots back to back in the blink of an eye. But in the current sandbox, these snipers received a nerf. They went from being a two body shot kill to a three body shot kill. At that moment, that's when these snipers went from number one to probably one of the lowest spots in the sniper chart. Then that's when everybody gravitated towards the beloved and the revoker. So why am I making this video? They didn't receive a buff. They still required three body shots to kill. So what changed? Let us go back to a previous statement I made in this video. What made these snipers so damn deadly? Well, let's talk about their zoom first. With snipers like the Revoker and the Beloved being Sunset, new snipers like the Eye of Soul, which has a zoom magnification of 45, are the future of snipers. Low zoom snipers have their days numbered. But what I can say is that snipers like the Supremacy, the Apostate, the Omniscient Eye, all have a zoom factor of 40 which if you don't think that's a big difference between a 40 and a 45 you're out of your mind just look at it this is a huge difference so why is zoom such a factor well players tend to gravitate towards low zoom snipers since you can easily track your enemies this is what made the beloved and the revoker top tier the beloved has a 40 zoom factor and the revoker has a 35 the lowest in all snipers so this is why lower is better that's why the future of snipers like the Eye of Soul is a 45. This is something you don't want to go towards. This is what makes rapid fire frames and the current rapid fire frames we have now so desirable. Now, I also mentioned that these snipers have high ammo capacity. Your normal snipers like the Beloved can only hold four to five shots, five being the most if you have the right magazine. Your high impact snipers can hold about three and a max of four, again, depending on your magazine. Now, when it comes to 140 RPM snipers, you average between five and I've seen them go all the way up to seven shots in your magazine. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, Brave, you need more shots to kill somebody if you land body shots. Well, that might be true, but you still only need one shot to kill if it's a critical shot, meaning you have seven shots in your weapon that can easily wipe an entire team or get a bunch of kills. Seven shots, guys, critical shots easily done with the sniper now moving into the last part of the comparison section i said 140 rpms have a lot of aim assist they do majority of 140 rpm snipers have above 70 above 70 i want to emphasize that they have above 70 aim assist which is pretty nuts if you ask me compared to snipers like the eye of soul which has 68 and the revoker which has a 44 landing headshots has never felt easier so let's add it all up 140s have low zoom compared to other snipers they have high magazine capacity and they kill it in the aim assist department. So I think that's a fair trade. I can live with three body shots to kill an enemy. With all that there, easily done. Now let's move into the fun part. How do these snipers fare in trials and against supers? What's their viability? Well, in trials, which is a light leveled enabled playlist, they can still be very competitive. A lot of the footage you see in the background is from this past weekend. And all I can say, not once that I feel at a disadvantage. Sure, there were times I would land a body shot, but given the rate of fire, I would quickly follow up with another shot. Now, let's talk about the most important issue. Everyone is probably wondering, can you res snipe a guardian? Because in trials, that's very important. Being able to kill somebody when they res them, revive them, 
you want to be able to one hit them in the head. Well, simple answer. Yes. Better yet, you can do it with ease. Okay, okay, okay. What about supers? Now you're probably thinking that these rapid fire frames don't stand a chance against supers. I hate to break it to you. But just like the beloved, which is an adaptive frame and requires two shots to kill a super, rapid fire frames require the same, which only requires one headshot and a body shot to take down the majority of supers. So what do I mean by majority? If they are two resilience and under, you can headshot body shot. Now, if they are above three resilience, then they're gonna require additional damage. So you'll have to land a headshot, body shot, and an easy cleanup with a hand cannon, SMG, whatever it may be. But are they viable against supers? Yes, they are. Now let's get into the last portion of this video, future proofing your sniper. If you're like me, you're not gonna waste your time grinding for a Twilight Oath or an apostate, which gets sunset next season. So this video doesn't drag on, I'm only going to suggest three 140 RPM snipers and I'll also be suggesting the best role you can be grinding for. For starters, if you are someone who stays away from raids, then you need to find yourself a good LFG team and get into the last wish. You're going to want to get your hands on the Supremacy Sniper, which only drops in the last wish, which has a sunset cap of 1360. I do want to put a disclaimer. If you don't want to raid, there's a way to access multiple raid chests without raiding. I'll leave a link to those videos down below. A few of my buddies made great videos on how to circumvent the doors and everything like that for some pretty easy chest. For this sniper, it doesn't really matter which perks you get, as long as you can snag one with snapshot. All I can say is good luck. Getting this elusive sniper is a challenge all on its own. Now the next sniper, which also comes from a raid, is going to be the Omniscient Eye, which can be acquired through the Garden of Salvation raid. Now for this sniper, your chances of acquiring a good roll are really high. And the reason for that is due to a smaller pool of perks. I would say that you only want to go for one perk and it's going to be snapshot. Lastly, this next and final sniper we have on the list can be easily obtained, but has one drawback to it. That sniper is going to be the Ikello sniper, which can be farmed from Umbral Angrams. The only drawback is this sniper, rather than having a 40 zoom like the Supremacy and Omnis and I, this sniper has a 45 zoom, similar to the Eye of Soul. But there is a certain role that allows you to two body shot kill any guardian. That perk is going to be high impact reserve, which rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. The only drawback to that perk is it's in the same category as my favorite perk, quick draw. At the end of the day, if you used to use rapid fire frame snipers, but stop because of the nerf they received to their body shot damage, I would recommend you revisit them. If you are someone who can consistently land headshots, 140 RPM snipers can give you more bang for your buck. But hey, if you're someone struggling at sniping, I recently made a video called Master Sniping, where I go over the best tips and strategies for someone who is a beginner sniper all the way up to your advanced snipers who are looking for some advanced tactics. Maybe you don't need help sniping. If you are someone looking to improve your movement, I made movement guides for all characters, Titan Hunter and Warlock. In those guides, I talk about the best tactics for each class. If you're interested in that, you can find one of those videos on screen and the others in the description below. With that, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor and drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Also, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash BraveX Hero. I play with viewers in either PvP and help viewers get trials weapons. With that, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.